Howdy y'all, I guess I'd like to call this first of all the, my poser pickup of the week because I'm not the biggest Arrow TV show fan or anything like that. I think I tried to watch an episode once and just seemed to me like an episode of, I mean like not an episode, but like a show with just a lot of really good looking people in it and you know, I may take that back because um, after buying these figures I'll probably, uh, in my spare time, which I have with love, um, probably start trying to watch it and uh, check it out because I have a lot of close friends and family that like the show a lot, so I need to give it an, uh, another shot because there's a lot of really cool characters in the show, obviously. you got Green Arrow, of course, as the main, you know, star attraction to the show, and then you got, like, cool cameo characters or characters that are introduced in the show, like Deathstroke and stuff, so, you know, it's, you can't go wrong with uh, Deathstroke. He's one of my favorite characters as far as the DC Universe goes and stuff, but, um... Yeah, I thought we'd uh, check these figures out because I saw them today at the comic shop and I knew they were out or coming out, but I haven't seen them yet. So what uh, really got me, first of all, was the card. I thought the uh, picture on the card was just amazing and the um, art and stuff. The packaging just looks really amazing. And, uh, yeah, really cool. And it pretty much, you know, grabbed me hook, line, and sinker. And then you got other characters, too, like the Dark Archer. I don't know anything about the Dark Archer. I don't read a lot of Green Arrow or watch it, so I would know... And, um, and you got Black Canary right there, too, which is cool. A uh, bunch of info and light glare. But anyways, yeah. Thought we'd check these guys out and give them, give them a shot. And, uh, there's Deathstroke right there, which is a cool pick. And I didn't really need to watch this show because, I don't know, this version of Deathstroke looks pretty dang cool. I like to see it. That character in action. Yeah, these look pretty cool. And they had all the other ones. And they had, I guess this is, they have a masked variant and an unmasked variant. But I bought the masked one just to be cheesy. And um, they seem to have a lot of the unmasked variant and figure too. So, yeah. Let's uh, start off. We'll check out um, Arrow first. So let me uh, open him up. Check him out. He comes with two weapons, which is pretty cool. Or two arrows, or not arrows, but two bows. And yeah, here he is. And all his green glory. Let's see. Zoom in a little bit. But yeah, not a bad figure. Kind of funny with the green mask, but you know, not bad, not bad detail. Your standard um, reaction figure. There's arrows in the quiver or whatever you call it right there, so it's pretty cool. And it comes with two bows, which are pretty neat. Dig these. I don't know if they latch on to them or anything like that. I doubt it, but there's another one. But pretty cool. Pretty cool nonetheless. Pretty dang cool. I guess you hold it like this, like so. I can just get him right, uh, right there. Bear with me. Well, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm not sure if he holds it like that. That shows you how much of a non arrow fan I am. I don't know how he even holds his. Uh, his bow, but yeah, I would assume so. I'm sure Daring Doodads would clue me in on that because he's probably a bigger knower of arrow things than I am. For that's for sure. Let's see. Or Chris's mom could probably tell me too because she watches the show. So yeah. But pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad figure. As far as reaction figures go, and this one stands pretty well. I mean, some of the older ones I had back in the day, um, like I guess, uh, what's his face? Um, Rocketeer, yeah, it didn't really stand that well, but yeah, it stands pretty good. No help at all, no assistance needed, so that's pretty cool. And um, even before I grabbed uh, Green Arrow, I had to look for uh, Deathstroke, which they did have, and I was stoked. Very stoked, and uh, yeah. Still stoked, so without any further ado, let's check them out. 
death stroke and all this death strokiness. This is really, really cool. Love this figure a lot. I love that orange and blue black color combo. I always love that color combo. But yeah, a lot of uh, cool sculpt and accessories, like a knife right there. Just very cool. This is this is probably the most I don't know. As far as maybe even the Predator, this is a lot of sculpting for a, a reaction figure. I mean, whoever sculpted this is a had to be a fan. Went all out. There's just so much detail, which is just really really cool. You got your sword. That's awesome. That is nice detail, and it shines. It's like the the paint on this is like it's not like black metal, but shines in the light pretty dang well, which is pretty cool. But um, sword seems like it might be a little bit breakable though, if you uh weren't careful with it. So yeah, but cool. You can go right along with uh, Boba Fett or anybody or Snake Eyes, or even um, what was our other? Snake Pliskin, yeah. That is awesome. Goes right back into its sheath, but yeah. Very, very cool. Dig him a lot. It'd be cool if his helmet would come off or something like that, but doesn't seem to be happening. But yeah, that sculpt's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. Pretty neat figures. Pretty neat figures. Not bad, not bad at all. Glad I got these. Like I said before, I'm not like the biggest know it all of the Arrow TV show, but. You know, after getting these, I might start watching it, you know. But, yeah. Once again, let's look at the card. Let's scoot these guys back a little bit. Because that card, the cards are really cool. The cards hook me pretty quick. and take but a second because they're just really, really cool. Really nice cards. That picture looks cool. He looks really, really cool. Really cool right there. And then Deathstroke once again. Which looks really, really cool. Really menacing. Really just... Awesome. Very, very awesome. But once again, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out and um, and stuff. And, yeah, definitely more uh, reviews and stuff coming up soon and videos because, um, yeah, time's fleeting. And um, I'm always super, super busy. But when I got the time like I do today, I'm going to pump out the reviews and vids because it's what I like to do. So, yeah, thanks for subbing. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, catch up with y'all really, really soon. Thanks. Later.